Very few people thought that the very controversial Feed a Child SA campaign would win any awards, but that's just what happened last night. It won a rather infamous award, the Rusty Radiator Award, last night in Oslo, which officially makes the campaign one of the most offensive in the world. I'm joined on the line by Christopher Kinger, whose organization set up and ran the Rusty Radiator Awards, and he's going to speak to us about last night's ceremony. Christopher, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, won't you kick us off by explaining what is the Rusty Radiator Awards? Right, so the Rusty Radiator Award is uh, an award ceremony where uh, we have an international jury who nominates, this year it was seven videos, um, for the Rusty and the Golden Radiator Awards. Now, the Golden Radiator Award is for the best, most innovative uh, fundraiser video and the rusty one is for the worst, most stereotypical ones. Because we do see that fundraiser campaigns keep using the same stereotypes, especially about Africa. And that's exactly what we saw with the Feed a Child SA campaign. So what about this particular video made it um, worthy of its Rusty Radiator Award? <laughs> well, it's kind of... We always encourage uh, to use creativity when doing fundraiser videos. But this kind of took it to the extreme. Um, when using, you know, this uh, rich white uh, woman a who treats a, a black child like a dog, uh, it's just, it's not good. It was nominated by our jury, um, and they really hated it. Some of them couldn't watch all of it. Um, but I think I would kind of like to turn that question back to you as a South African, uh, what made it a Rusty Radio Tour? Well, you know, I don't know if you followed it, but as soon as that campaign was released in South Africa, there was absolute outcry from all sectors of society. Very, very few people responded positively to the campaign, and Feed a Child SA eventually had to apologize about it because it really did demean that child. Right. I mean, we just found it shocking, uh, even to us, and especially with, you know, the background uh, in South Africa. Um, it's important to remember that, as the jury said, racism isn't something of 200 years back. It's something that's very present in today's society, both in South Africa, but also in, you know, in Europe, in, in all countries. And Christopher, that's exactly the type of stereotypes that your organization works to break down. That's true. Um, we do see that, you know, especially about Africa, we keep seeing kind of this, these images that kind of create a divide between us and you, uh, where, you know, they create the image of kind of Africans as this exotic other that we uh, need to help, uh, but they can't really help themselves. If we look at the Feed a Child campaign, what should have Feed a Child done um, that, that wouldn't have offended not only our country, but clearly the international judging panel too? <laughs> it's, again, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I don't think they could have done that campaign very well, even if, well, it would, be, would have been problematic either way. Um, but again, just remember to let people talk and explain their own situation on their own behalf. I mean, it's such an important case uh, with malnutrition in South Africa, uh, of course, but it, it's the good case doesn't always make kind of the good fundraising campaign. Um, you need to have nuanced information where we actually see who these children are that we kind of hear from, from themselves. Christopher, won't you just explain to us what about the, this type of um, campaign or this type of advertising um, for all the nominations that were in the Rusty category. What about it was problematic? Uh, well, about all the Rusty Radio Strip campaigns. I mean, they kind of had different um, different takes on, on fundraising. Um, we saw the winner of last year's video, uh, 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 Ch Child Fund Canada. Um, they were back this year as a nominee because they basically use the same footage over and over again. Uh, they keep using this white man coming down to and talking on behalf of poor kids. Now, last year he said that they were too poor for words, uh, that they, didn't, they couldn't actually speak because they were so poor. Uh, this year they had one line and that was, I'm hungry. Oh dear. So, <laughs> Christopher, what can organizations do to ensure that they're not on your radar for next year's Rusty Radiator Award? Well, we would like to see all fundraisers as potential Golden Radiator nominees. Just use creativity and remember to, you know, work that the fundraiser department and the informational department have to work closely together uh, to actually make a nuanced video. Um, now, it can be challenging, but again, let people speak on their own behalf. Um, don't, you know, degrade people. <laughs> let them keep the dignity. Uh, and just, you know, 
make a new in informational video, kind of. Um, don't portray Africa as a country. Um, let's and don't portray them as kind of these passive recipients, passive victims who need our help. Well, from all of us back home in South Africa, in Africa, we'd like to thank you so much for this um, great initiative. It certainly warms our heart to hear that um, there are international organizations who care as much about the representation of our country and continent as we do. Thank you. Thank you very much.